Hey guys, this is Michael from Team Canon, and this is a short introduction to our Birch theme. Our Birch is a personal block theme with a clean and modern design. We tried to create a theme that is easy to work with, yet flexible enough to meet the needs of most personal bloggers. Let's have a look at the Birch front page. Now, as you might expect, the Birch front page functions as your site blog. It consists of several sections, and each section can be modified independently, or in some cases even removed entirely. At the top we have our header section. Right now it is displaying a primary menu, our social icons, and a logo. Under the header we have the homepage feature area, or hero unit. This is currently displaying a post grid with a reverse hover effect. Then we have the main content area. This is where your post will be displayed. The default layout is a single column layout with box content and drop caps. Now below the post is the pagination area. We're currently using a load more button with Ajax loading. At the bottom we have our footer section. And in the footer section we place the post carousel and a static bottom footer containing text and social icons. Let's have a quick look at how easy it is to modify each of the front page sections. Let's return to our header. Right now our header is set up as a pre-header with a primary menu to the left and social icons to the right. Then we have a main header area with a centered logo. If we go to the back end and go to Birch settings, header and footer, this is where we have the builders. To set up our header we use the header builder. So let's try and change our pre-header to have a single center spot and let's have display our social icons. We'll change our main header to a left and right header where we have our logo to the left and primary menu to the right. Now the logo looks a little big compared to our menu, so let's adjust the size of our logo. Each header element has its own set of options, so you simply find the one you want to modify and change its parameters. So perhaps you want a post header as well, containing maybe a secondary menu and a toolbar with a search button. It is also possible to control stickiness independently for each of the three header sections. Now under the header builder we have the homepage feature builder. This lets us choose a hero unit. Right now we're using the post grid, but let's try and have a slider instead. Similarly we have the footer builder. The footer has two sections, the main section which can display feature units as well as a post footer which can contain the same elements as the header. Let's try and display an Instagram carousel in the main footer 
and maybe have a cinder countdown in the post footer. Let's put some other photos in our Instagram carousel. We find the Instagram carousel settings and instead of recent media, let's try with a tag instead. The layout of the main content area is controlled in purchase settings, posts and pages, and homepage. Right now we're using a one column masonry layout. Let's try and change that to a two column layout. Or a three column layout. or a one column layout with a sidebar. Maybe you prefer the sidebar to the left. Or how about a three column even grid layout? Perhaps with a shorter excerpt. And maybe let's remove the author and the published date. Or how about a classic block layout? Beneath the main content area is the pagination. Right now we have a load more button with Ajax loading. You can also set this to previous next navigation with Ajax. Or without Ajax for a traditional block navigation. If you prefer a box tone page, this is also possible.
Colors, fonts, and background can be changed from Birch Settings, Appearance. Now, if you end up with something you don't like, you can always go to Birch Settings, Advanced, and Reset to Factory Defaults. Or you can import previously exported theme settings. This has been a brief introduction to Birch. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you soon.